Hi, my name is Nicholas. I am a campaigner, an activist, an award-winning Melbourne Fringe artiste and a legendary Fringe Club closing night DJ. I'm here to teach you how to be humble. Just kidding, I'm not actually doing that. Uh, Melbourne Fringe have asked me to come teach you all a lesson uh, and they asked me to work, I think about a whole bunch of different things. Uh, they asked me to maybe think about a video of how to be queer, but I have plenty of instructional videos on certain queer activities out there on the internet. So today I am going to teach you all how to save the world. Now, that might feel incredibly overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you that it is entirely possible. Uh, I want to split this up into two different sections today. Firstly, how to start something, a campaign or similar to help change the world. And secondly, how to contribute to something to help change the world. Um, let's start with how to start something. Firstly, you want to ask yourself why you're working on this. What is this issue that you are incredibly passionate about? Firstly, do you have the capacity to start something, a campaign, a moment, a petition or whatever? Um, the advice I always give to the people who I support as a campaigner is you've got to let the petition fit in around your life, not the other way around. So if you're starting a campaign to save your little corner of the world, uh, make sure that you've definitely got the capacity to work on it because these things can become all-consuming. Uh, for anyone watching this who's ever put on a Melbourne Fringe show, it's pretty much the exact same kind of all-consuming energy that it takes to uh, produce a show and put something on. Um, you want to ask yourself, do you have the authority to do this? Are you passionate about starting uh, an, a campaign or something to help save the world on behalf of someone else? Or is this personally affecting you and your community? Uh, if it's the former, you really want to make sure that you uh, have the authority to be going out there and to be trying to change the world. Make sure you are listening to those voices in the affected community. And maybe instead of you starting a campaign about the issue, it would be actually a better use of your time as an ally to signal boost whatever is going on in the world and use whatever privilege and power you have to hold up those voices. Um, but if you are part of an affected community and you do want to start a campaign on something to help change your little corner of the world, then make sure you're also listening to those diverse voices from within your own community. Uh, as you will be well aware, there is no one homogenous response to stuff. So when we're starting stuff, we really want to make sure that we take the time to listen to people, to understand the issue and to take it from there. Um, how? Well, online petitions are a great way of building a movement. That's not just to demonstrate lots of signatures, but all of the online petition platforms that exist can be used to build a movement, to show support for your issue and to campaign that way. Um, and finally on that one, you want to make sure that you are, are doing a lot of self-care. Self-care isn't about taking a bubble bath. It's about learning to say no or not yet. Secondly, if you don't need to start a campaign to save the world, there are lots of ways you can contribute. The number one way to do this is to pick up the phone or write an email to your MP. This is something that hardly anyone, I think, fully understands the power of. But as a full-time campaigner, I'm here to tell you that phone calls and emails to your member of parliament are an incredibly effective way to get change moving. So when it comes to that, you have a local council representative in your ward, you have state uh, MPs, you have your federal MP, and you have your senators and your upper house people. All of these people can be contacted about an issue, and it is literally their job to listen to you. So take the time to craft in your own words or look online for a campaign that you're supporting. Many of them will have contact your MP tools attached to their uh, websites, to their campaign sites. And honestly, take a moment to craft an email or pick up the phone if it's urgent and contact them. Um, do a little research first. Make sure that your local MP is aware uh, of the issue firstly and maybe they're already supportive of it at which point you don't really need to contact them. But in that case, contact their senators. Um, finally, uh, changing the world 
is incredibly difficult because if it was easy, we'd all do it all the time. But it requires an amazing and extraordinary commitment. Um, so take the energy, take the time, but also make sure you've got the capacity to do it. Thanks so much. And I hope you all change the world soon. Bye.